Hey guys, today's story is a rather short one about a Dark Heresy game. This happened a little while ago, so apologies if I misremember a couple of details, but I was playing in a campaign of Dark Heresy 1e, which, in summary, is a grim dark game with incredibly punishing damage mechanics. Most of the PCs have only about 10 to 15 health, and most of the weapons do at minimum 1d10 plus 3, which is then reduced by toughness and armor. As such, one unlucky hit can easily take a PC from full health to death's door. Especially if it crits. And most of the monsters aren't significantly stronger. In fact, the toughest enemy that I'm aware of in the entire game only has about 80 health, and the strongest weapon the PCs can use deals 5d10 plus 10 damage. Now, with this in mind, our GM had the idea of having one of those JRPG-style encounters with an impossible-to-beat enemy. I believe he had plans for that enemy being a sort of mysterious ally figure, who would test the party at various points, and then give us aid or rewards based off of how well we would do. The problem being, however, this is Dark Heresy. And up until this point in the campaign, there had been other instances of railroading, the GM clearly had specific scenes and wanted them to play out in order of how he planned them. This, however, took the cake for how nakedly obvious it was that he was fudging the numbers behind the scenes. This NPC, described to be some sort of space marine-like figure, jumped down and challenged our party to combat. I got lucky and got an early hit in with a weapon that has a stun effect, and the NPC rolled a critical fail on his save against it. Which, in Dark Heresy terms, getting stunned mid-battle with no allies to protect you is effectively death. And in this case, he ended up being stunned for three full turns. So the entire party just beat the ever-living crap out of this guy, and since he was stunned, we all made cold shots at his unarmored head. And the NPC couldn't dodge or take actions to escape. And by the time that he shook off being stunned, we had collectively dealt something between 60 to 100 damage, depending on how high his toughness was. Naturally, he survived, and then did some sort of jump that got him to a high spot where the GM said that none of us could reach, and tried to start giving a speech about how we had done well and proved our worth. Since this guy was supernaturally powerful, and he had just attacked us for no reason, I took out my pistol and just started shooting until the bad guy ran away. And, to the best of my memory, we never saw that NPC again. But, in any case guys, that's the end of the story. Hope you enjoyed, and have a good one.